get excited guys there is totally a way to make your linkedin headline more profitable so what if i told you there was an actual way to rework your linkedin headline so that you could start making more money in your va business today well it turns out there is and in the next few videos i'm going to show you exactly how to do that but before we get into the nitty gritty details, let's just think through the actual problem here. You might be thinking to yourself right now, I don't really use LinkedIn that much, or yeah, I have a LinkedIn title, but it's not really yielding any results for me. Or maybe you're feeling a little skeptical because you think I already have a great LinkedIn title and I'm not getting high paying clients through the platform. I totally get that and I was right there in your shoes a few years ago until I started looking into LinkedIn. I started understanding how the platform works, how their internal search engine operates and exactly how to position yourself in front of that high paying client that we as VAs often so desperately want in our business. So get excited guys, because in this course, we're going to go over a few key changes that you can make in your profile now to start seeing results that yield more money. So the things you're gonna need for this course, first and foremost, no distractions. This course will take you 10 minutes at most. So silence your alarms, turn off your iPhone messages, turn off your email notifications, make sure the Fido's been walked and that the kids are fed or heck, even you have a snack and a cup of coffee by your side. Whatever it is you need to do, get it done because I just need you focused for just a few short minutes here. I'm also going to need you to take a scrap paper out. It can be a loose leaf, a piece of paper, pen, pencil, whatever you want. I'm going to need you to jot down a few ideas as we go through this course. And, uh, and really that's all you need. And you need a LinkedIn profile. You need a LinkedIn profile that's already set up because this course is not going to take you through step-by-step uh, -step for how to actually set up a profile. So as long as you've got those things, we are ready to rock and roll and I will see you in the next video. So let's talk a little bit about a general VA versus a specialized VA. Now, there are two types of virtual assistants in general. A general VA is somebody who can do a lot of different general topics. And what I mean by that is uh, these are people that can do skills or certain tasks that you didn't necessarily need extra training for, extra schooling, uh, extra know-how. It's just something that you've either learned on the job or something that, uh, like I said, you didn't need a special certification or a special program for. So these can be services like uh, booking flights, booking hotels, making purchases online, making online reservations, uh, inbox management, calendar management, appointment setting, these are just generally things that, that you can do and they're valuable. Trust me, I actually got my start as a general VA too. These are invaluable skills to busy people and companies, but they're generally general. <laughs> and uh, versus a specific VA, somebody who's specialized. These are people who offer services that tend to be a little more high, uh, high paying because they're services that um, people don't know how to do or they haven't studied it in depth. This can be things like uh, SEO management. So you really understand how to help drive traffic to websites. This can be web design. It can be graphic design that you went to school for. It can be copywriting, video editing. These are, are skills that you've put time, effort, and learning into uh, that you can offer to clients. Okay, so now that we've got those two types out of the way, how this relates to LinkedIn is very important because there are a lot of people online who think that if they put their title, virtual assistant, up there on LinkedIn, that that should be enough to drive traffic to their profile. And I'm here to tell you that that's not actually how LinkedIn works. So let's look at a few examples. We have a few people here who have put virtual assistant up as their title, so that when you type in virtual assistant in the search bar, you will see all these people with that title pull up and populate. These are okay. You know, if I were to click on one of these profiles, I might see a laundry list of services that they offer, and these tend to be more general services. And that's okay, it's good to, to include things that you offer, but what actually is going to help bring future clients and future high paying clients to your profile is if you have something very specific in your title. This person here has virtual assistant WordPress management in their title. And what's great about that is they're getting a little more specific about exactly what it is that they offer. 
Now, if I'm a client who's looking for WordPress management, I'm not going to go to those other virtual assistant profiles. I'm gonna go right to this woman. I'm going to zero in because she's been very specific about what it is that she's offering. The other good thing about this is that she might offer a general laundry list of items. She might, in addition to WordPress management, offer calendar management, travel booking, online purchases, but she's offering something highly specialized that she may be, be charging extra for, charging more for, because this is a premium service. So in this course, we're going to help you build your own specific title. And I'm going to help you get a little more specific about some of these high paying uh, services that you can offer yourself. But when you're going through the next few modules, I want you to keep these examples in mind and just remember that the more general you are on LinkedIn, the less likely you are to attract the kind of client that you want and the less likely you are to attract that kind of high paying client that we're really trying to target here. So you might be thinking to yourself, how the heck do I offer something a little more specialized, even if I'm a general VA? What I want you to do is grab that nifty piece of paper that I had you take out earlier and your pen or your pencil, and I want you to just take a few minutes, two, three minutes to jot down some of the more popular services that you offer. These can be services that clients ask you for most often. These can be services that clients uh, give you really positive feedback on. These can be services that um, people are, are generally willing to pay for. So just give yourself a couple minutes, do some light brainstorming on this piece of paper and jot down three, four, five, if you have them, services that you think, yeah, I'm, I'm really good at this and I can offer a little more money to, to help bring in some extra income. Now, if you're a fairly new VA and you don't necessarily have a handful of clients who have asked you for certain services, so if there's nothing that comes up from time to time, um, what I want you to do is think through things that you do for your own business because welcome to the business world, baby. You are a freelance VA, you are your own entrepreneur. Think through some things that you do for your own business. So that might be website building. Maybe you've built your own website. Maybe you manage your own social media profiles, whether it's Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, whatever it is that you're doing to attract clients. Maybe you're really great at social media management. Maybe you are really fantastic at bookkeeping and accounting and you are on point when it comes to keeping your business expenses separate from your personal expenses. So I want you to be thinking of some of these things that you can offer and just jot them down. When you've got a few things down on your piece of paper, I want you to just look through your list. It's okay if it's not long, even if you have two, three items. And are you ready? I want you to pick one thing, just one thing from that list that you've jotted down and I want you to circle it. Put a big old circle around that service or that special skill that is popular. It's the thing that people ask you for often or the thing that you're good at and you do the most often for your own business. And this is the thing that we're going to focus on for your LinkedIn profile, because this is the thing that we're going to help tailor so that you can offer it specifically to people who are looking for that kind of service and who are more likely than not willing to pay extra, willing to pay a higher price point to have you help them uh, do that for their own business. Okay, so you guys are just rocking through this. You're doing awesome. Because now that you've got that specialty skill in mind, you've got the thing that's in demand, you know people ask for it often, or you're really, really good at it. Now we're gonna pop that into your LinkedIn profile, but we're going to do it using a specific formula. Because as you remember in one of the first videos, the person who just wrote virtual assistant isn't going to catch my eye or get my business. And that's because I'm seeking somebody specific. I'm seeking out somebody who can specifically help me with my very specific skill. So what I want you to do right now is open up your LinkedIn profile and we're going to do some light editing to your title and your title only. The reason that I wanna focus on your title too is because this is the thing that makes you searchable on LinkedIn. What a lot of people don't realize is that LinkedIn acts a lot like Google. It has its own search bar and its own search engine. And the way that it searches is very specific and actually unique to each and every person who does the searching, which is kind of interesting. But the thing that helps the most is that the engine really likes specific titles with rich keywords. 
And that's because uh, what it's doing is it's pulling up keywords from the search bar that are also in your title. So what I want you to do here is um, we're gonna open your profile, we're gonna click on this pencil icon and we're going to edit your title together. The first thing I want you to do for your formula is I do want you to include your working title. So if you're here and you're a VA, uh, which you likely are, your title is going to be virtual assistant. That is what you do and uh, at the bottom of the day, at the end of the day, that is what you offer your clients. So that's your first term in your title. Next, I want you to add uh, a line. I like to add this particular dash, just it's an aesthetic thing. It doesn't do anything for your searchability. So if you don't like it, you know, use a comma, but uh, that's up to you, your discretion. So uh, add a dash if you want, add a comma. The next phrase that I want you to include is your special sauce. This is the thing that you just circled. This is your specialized skill that you're going to offer. So if you wrote website development, I want you to write website developer. If you are wrote copywriting, I want you to write down copywriter. If you wrote down social media management, put social media management down or social media manager. So I want you to do, uh, so thus so far it should be title virtual assistant and your specialty skill is the second thing. Now we're going to add one more dash or one more space, one more comma, whatever it is that you're using. And in this last part of your title, I want you to include the person who you are trying to target. And right now you might be saying, whoa, whoa, slow down lady, that's super overwhelming, but um, it doesn't need to be. I want you to add who you're targeting specifically because that's really gonna help the person who's searching for you understand if you are a right fit for them or not. And all, you know, we're all about getting the right person to you and the right person who's going to pay you uh, the right money to help you make more. So we're just trying to cut through the clutter here because there are a lot of people on LinkedIn. The more specific you are, the faster people can cut through the crowd and zero in on you. So if you are uh, a virtual assistant and you tend to work with a lot of um, consultants, you can say something like virtual assistant, uh, website developer, helping consultants build websites to launch their business or if you tend to have a lot of clients who are um, solopreneurs, you could be a virtual assistant, add your special sauce, copywriter who helps uh, helping busy solopreneurs start their business, blah, blah, blah. Um, so what I want you to do is just think through for a minute or two who exactly it is that you are helping or who it is that you wanna help. Um, I'll give you one of my first titles that actually did well for me. I had several clients who were venture capitalists in the San Francisco area. So I wrote virtual assistant, uh, at the time I specialized in high-end travel. So virtual assistant, high-end travel booking, um, busy venture capitalists in California. That's how specific I was. And I was so specific in my title that I ended up getting a lot of other VC companies on the West Coast, mostly out of San Francisco, reach out to me through LinkedIn. And that was because I was specific and they were looking for high-end travel and uh, it was a particular skill that I could charge more than what I was charging other clients for those general services. So that's the title that I really want you to focus on. So it's, once again, it's a job title, virtual assistant, special skill, that's the thing you circled, and add a little extra about who exactly it is that you're trying to target. 